Hi, it's well. How's it going? Hope you're well. Hope lockdown's okay. Hope you're enjoying the sun. Um, I'm just going to share with you three tips that I had when I was a student at applying to university um, to you now, because I think they're still really important tips, uh, especially when you're thinking about applying to university. So first one is to think about whether you want to stay in London for university or you want to move away from London for university. Uh, now is a really, really good time to move away from home if you want to. It's really tough when you finish university and you have a job uh, to move out uh, because rent is so high uh, and jobs don't pay as well as what they used to. So this is a really, really great opportunity for you to move away, especially as student finance give you uh, your maintenance loan to do that. So consider if that's something important to you. Uh, the second thing is to have a look at university league tables. So have a look at the league tables done by The Guardian and The Times because they rank universities on lots of different things. So you can have a look at how they rank student experience or the um, happiness with the course that you're interested in and so on. Uh, what you can do, which is what I did, is make an Excel spreadsheet which has all of the points that, you're, uh, that you find important and you can put them down on an Excel spreadsheet next to the universities you're interested in and you can see which one on average has the best uh, things that, you're, you, that are important to you on there. So you can then sort of whittle down the universities you want to apply to. And the final thing I would say, the third thing I would say is really important, um, is on your personal statement, try to write half on why you want to do the course that you're doing and the next half on what makes you a good, well-rounded individual. So half, if you're applying to business, for example, half on why you want to do business and then another half on any sports teams you've been part of and any tutoring you've done uh, to show those leadership skills and that teamwork skill uh, that is really important to you because universities want to see you're not just someone who's interested in doing the course but also someone that can really contribute towards the university lifestyle uh, and the society and the communities that they have there and the final final thing is when you do that personal statement is to not use the word passion because everybody says they have a passion for something and it's a word that's so overused that universities don't like to see it because it doesn't look like you've thought about it very much so they're my top four good luck we'll see you soon